Okay, hi everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Mandana White, CEO of Smart Grid Forums, and I'm joined today by my colleague Deepak Marigal, who is the Manager for System Integration and Test at New York Power Authority. And Deepak has kindly agreed to speak at our IC61850 Week 2021 conference in October. So today we're going to have a quick conversation around some of the issues that are going to be addressed by Deepak. Uh, in his presentation in October, what he will be sharing with us and also what he, he hopes to take away from the event himself. So Deepak, welcome. Thank you very much for participating today. Uh, your session title at the event is Real-Time Operations. You're going to be focused on real-time operations and specifically on the design, installation and operational considerations of real-time communication for next generation digital substations. Now, when we spoke about this subject before, Deepak, you made the point that real-time operations have been running in the substation area for a long, long time. This is nothing new, but actually optimizing real-time operations is still a big challenge for many utilities, and you're working quite hard to plug the gap that's there in that arena. Um, so can you just explain to us what is uh, the big issue around optimizing real-time operation? Why are we still not... Um, there in terms of op optimizing it? Yeah, when it comes to real-time operations, uh, as of you know, what the utility is practicing around the world is uh, monitoring the power system equipment, you know, equipment like breakers, generators, and as such, those are pretty much automated. When it comes to 60, 150, uh, there's a lot more things that one can get. Whether it's networking is, is more monitoring aspects of it, you know, where things are, you know, not performing as well, including on the, some of the power system equipment side. So most of that uh, diagnostics or monitoring and networking and, and the ancillary functions that are out there has not been uh, as of now. So right. uh, the focus that uh, we are working at New York Power Authority, as well as uh, I think the industry need to look at is uh, where, what are the set of signals that we need to monitor? What are the set of things that we need to consider when designing it, mainly from operation standpoint, because ultimately the operation folks are the one who uses data and respond to that event. You know, this is a yes. 20, 24 by seven operations. So what is too much, what is, what's too little, and what kind of information do we need? And what's the actionable steps that one needs to take based on that information is what's important. Right, OK, and how far do you think you can push this in the next 12 months or so? What are your goals around this subject? What do you hope to achieve in the next 12 months? Yeah, again, we are developing this as a as a standard you know, for our uh, digital substations being built. And this standard uh, is building upon uh, what's the technology being provided by the manufacturers and yeah. what's out there. So it kind of helps take it from there. All right, OK. What's unique about the way that you're approaching it compared to other utilities? Yeah, we are taking a slightly different approach. We are taking from a product or manufacturing implementation standpoint and see what are the uh, different aspects that each manufacturer provides. I mean, there's quite a bit of already information uh, mm -hmm. being supported by manufacturers and it's not being utilized. So what we are taking is here is, you know, manufacturer A, manufacturer B, and uh, in these products that we are uh, planning to use and uh, take it from there and uh, basically taking this not only from from a, a manufacturer but also taking this uh, information and feeding internally to utilities what the things that we need to do to make sure all of these are covered so we are having pretty much enterprise wide discussions from you know from many many departments compliance operations engineering networking it ot cybersecurity in all these domains uh, and that's what uh, is is making this effort uh, somewhat unique uh, in this undertaking okay and so once you've reached your goal what are the operational benefits that you're going to reap how will your operations look different and perform in a different more robust way yeah, absolutely. You know, we are planning to build digital substations and the standard is being developed for new greenfield uh, digital substations that uh, the power authority would build any new thing hereafter. So uh, once these are standardized, it becomes a lot more easier for us to provide this to contractors uh, as as cut piece for them to take this and, and it becomes a lot more reproducible for them and also easy for us to manage because we're not getting, you know, in, in different kind of ways to 
take it. It will just getting the same piece and it will become a lot more easier also to integrate our to our asset management system, which tracks this in enterprise wide and you know it, and also many other systems we have. Uh, right. The integration becomes a lot more easier. Right. OK, so really close collaboration with your suppliers is key to this. Yes. Um, another human factors element that you mentioned before, Deepak, was, um, you know, you can create the best design uh, and have the best technology in place. But if your operators are not utilizing it uh, in situ in the most effective way, then uh, you can fall short in the real time operation. So how are you training your operators to be able to work with different scenarios, different variables, uh, different situations that are foreseen and not foreseen in order to keep the real time operations, um, you know, proactively working well. Yeah, absolutely. Again, uh, the, the operations, you know, considering you know, what they are and, and the amount of time they have to uh, respond to the events, you know, they have to be very niche and, you know, they, we are not expecting them to be a network engineer or anything like that. So we are working to wet this process. You know, it's a process to say, okay, here is the type of information that we are going to produce. Here are the screens that you're going to get. Is this okay? What your operators feel, you know, before in hand, now in the design stage, and now then we are going to build upon this. Okay, here is what you're familiar with. Here is the extra piece that you're building upon and you know, adding to what's already being used. And if you get any alarms like this, we're also developing procedures uh, mm -hmm. to say that, okay, if you get this, contact this. And if you get this, contact this. If you get this, you have to do one, two, three, and so forth. So this is, a, is the entire process. Again, um, is a team approach uh, within the organization between different multiple sectors, you know, to, yeah. to proceed in this direction. So uh, again, it's not only just op operation, definitely is the, is the end product or end user of this, but ultimately the, the process, uh, the procedures, and, and all of this is, is being handled at this time uh, mm -hmm. as we speak. Okay, great. And so Deepak, what will you be sharing with participants at the IEC 61850 Week 2021 event in October? Yeah, you know, this is uh, one of the things that, you know, what uh, differently we are undertaking here. I would like to share this experience and uh, and the different design uh, decisions that we are undertaken. It's not the perfect thing, you know, just 1650 has really a lot of things in there. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's not it's not being a perfectionist, but uh, being practical to uh, as opposed to here's the pros and cons from a reliability standpoint, from, from a networking standpoint, not to build the perfect system out there, but what's the optimal balance between maintenance uh, cost? And and also one thing I did not speak is a cybersecurity. That's a yeah. very new and integral element of 1650 digital substations. And uh, now it comes into uh, IT and OT uh, merger of this and how do we handle this functionality and, and the aspects that we have learned. And I would be happy to share those things um, for others to take on. Great. That sounds really good. That sounds very deep and um, uh, really current as well, uh, given what's going on in the world of cybersecurity. Um, so what uh, you've attended the 61850 conference yourself before, Deepak. What are you hoping to take away from it yourself this year? You know, th this is uh, one of the um, you know very unique and uh, you know, it, I'd be happy to uh, and eager to see what other users are undertaking in this and what are the new things that are coming up. Uh, new developments and also, uh, you know, the best practices followed by other end users, it will be valuable for us as well. So I look right. forward to participate and uh, connect with others. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Deepak, for your time today. And if any of the viewers have any questions for Deepak, please post them in the comment section below. And I'm sure Deepak will be very happy to answer any questions you have in advance of the conference this year. So Deepak will be sharing his insights with us at IC61850 Week 2021, which takes place 18th to the 22nd of October, um, hopefully in Gothenburg, Sweden, but most definitely via the swap uh, swap card virtual event platform and we look forward to seeing you all there thank you so much Deepak you have a great evening and we'll speak to you soon thank you pleasure to be in that conference